So, BB Tag. Yeah. With the new trailer for BB Tag being announced at EVO, we got a couple of new fighters coming very soon, including my favorite mute of all time, Neo. And, uh... <coughs> yeah. But by far the most interesting thing about that trailer is the fact that these are not the only characters that we'll be receiving. Alongside the announced four, we'll be receiving five more characters for a total of nine. And to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that number. Combining the current roster with the new characters that are coming, that leaves us with a total of 53 characters in BB Tag. And the more I thought about it, the more it bothered me. Why 53? It's such an odd number. No matter which way I put it and try to predict which characters are going to be coming to BB Tag, I can't help but to be sad at the fact that there's going to be a franchise that's going to get shafted. Nonetheless, I do think that this is not going to be the last time that we see a character expansion. We might get more and more characters in the future, and hopefully we'll even out those 53 characters to maybe like a 60 or something like that. Now, before I get started, I want to break down how this video is going to go. I thought of two different scenarios where I can predict and speculate the remaining five characters. I'll be doing a list of characters that are most likely to come and then a list of characters that would be amazing if they were to come into BB Tag and I think would be the right path that they should take when it comes to the characters. To piggyback off of that idea, I'd like to add that the path that Arc System should take if they were smart and they want to see this game last a lot longer than expected to last, and I know this statement has been used over and over and over again, it's been said a million times, however it's true. If they want to make people happy in BB Tag, they would put more ruby characters, whether it be one more ruby character in this pack or multiple. It would make people extremely happy with the outcome of that decision. And I'm not gonna lie, I would be too. But I don't make the decisions up at Arc System Works, and I know that there's more to a character than just simply adding them because of popularity. So this is just one man's thoughts on the character discussion for BB Tag 2.0 or for the latter expansions. With that being said, let's get into this video discussing my predictions for who the remaining five characters will be. Scenario number one. Now this list will be the more more logical and the more believable of the two due to recent pictures that involve the fact that we can almost guarantee two spots for two BB characters. To elaborate more on that, there has been a recent discovery that a new special edition of BB Tag that will be sold on Ebton, a Japanese online store where you can buy Arc System products, has released a picture of what will be included in the special edition DX pack. And in this pack, it will include 19 pins. It includes every character in BB Tag, the 17 that we already know of and two other secret pins that we don't know of yet. And the reason why there's two pins that are yet to be known and are considered secrets, it's probably because it's the two remaining characters that have yet to be announced. So it's not 100% guaranteed, but it's safe to say that there's going to be two Blaze Blue characters coming into this expansion. So let's start off this list with two BB characters. And the first one I think is going to be Hibiki. Hibiki I think is a shoe in for two big reasons. He has a great tool set in BBCF that I would like to say is BB taggable. It's a made up word. Don't look into it, please. He definitely has the tools to be easily transferable to BB tag. The other main reason is him being super duper uber popular among the BB fandom. He's a cool assistant archetype who is composed and patient. He uses his shadow clone jutsu in combat and has a weapon that resembles attack on Titan weapons so much that Captain Levi would cross dimensions to ask him to join the recon corp. So I think he's definitely a shoe in in BB tag. The other character in Blaze Blue is Bang and Bang is an OG BB character that everybody loves. He's a legit ninja with a ginormous nail on his back and has so much personality in his character and in his combat that people can't help but to adore this character. However, unlike Hibiki, Bang's movesets and combats is not as BB taggable, but I do believe they are able to make him work and design him to be in BB tag. But I do believe that this character would breathe a lot of BB nostalgia to a lot of people since he's one of the original characters from Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger. The next character is the remaining Persona 4 Arena character, Elizabeth. Since the path that Arc System decided to take was one that doesn't involve Persona 4 Arena Ultimax characters, it's safe to say that they will be putting in Elizabeth in this roster. But uh, what about Shadow Lampers, dude? Damn. You guys are so microwave thirsty that you guys want to put in a second microwave in a shadow one too? In all seriousness, I do think that Shadow Labras would be badass in BB Tag. However, since they have regular Labras in the game already, I would think that they would prioritize the Velvet Room attendance rather than another version of Labras. The fourth character would of course be a UniST representative, and out of all the characters that people want in BB Tag from Undernight, it comes down to two of them, Wagner and Hilda. Personally, I would want Hilda to be in BB Tag due to her being dope as AF. Oh, 
But I think the more logical thing would be to put in Wagner due to her being more BB taggable than Hilda. And with the new Uniclear coming out next year and Wagner being one of the pinnacle characters in the Uniclear story, I think French Bread might prioritize letting Wagner be in BB tag over Hilda. The last character was a tough prediction, but I think it'll be another Ruby character. If you take a look at the symbol that they showcased off in the trailer, everything seems pretty symmetrical. There's two Akatsuki Blitzkomp characters across from each other and there's a Ruby character up top. So it's safe to say that there's going to be another Ruby character on the bottom to be symmetrical to Neo. And I think that character is going to be Cinder. Cinder is a character that is considered to be the villain of Ruby up until volume three. However, I do acknowledge the fact that if they were to take that route, then they should bring in Roman Torchwick. But since they announced Neo and Neo having a super that references him directly, I don't think that Roman will make it in, which is a damn shame. So I have to go with another character that is popular, villainous, and BB taggable. And that title belongs to none other than Cinder. I think she would have a badass cool move set involving her fall maiden powers and also mixing in some fire made weapons like the bow and arrow and the dual short blades with maybe mixing in some you know some fire elements and such i think that would be dope to have in bb tag and those are the five characters that are more likely to be in bb tag however i do still want to do my second list which includes the characters that i think is the best way to lead the bb tag sailboat so in this next list i predict that instead of two blaze blue characters there will be one blaze blue character in here and that character will be hibiki and with there being only one blaze blue character in this pack it can round out to a total of 18 blaze blue characters after that we have hilda or wagner coming in from undernight of course but since i put in wagner in the other list i'll go ahead and put in hilda into this one then i have to put in elizabeth because i think she's basically guaranteed to come into bb tag for reasons that i explained earlier then we have the next character which in my opinion is going to be another ruby character because i do believe there's going to be a second one coming into the roster to make a total of six characters and unlike the other list i do think that is going to be Pyrrha. Now, let me explain this one a little bit. I really hope that Arc System can understand the meaning behind adding two Ruby characters compared to one. We already have the fifth character from the Ruby series on the way, and having a sixth one would blow people's minds and get them super excited for another character from Ruby. And what other character would that be than a character that people absolutely adore and love for reasons that I can't explain? And if you've seen the show, you guys know why. Adding this character would mean a lot to the people that love and adore door Pyrrha. She's a character that in my opinion is the most BB taggable out of everyone in the Ruby roster. She would have unique hand-to-hand -hand gameplay with a mixture of a style that resembles my Natsume due to her transforming spear weapon and a Tsubaki-esque playstyle as well with her shield. She can be a combination of a lot of characters that exist in the Arc System realm and be able to have a cool unique flair to that archetype. So I'm not gonna lie, if she gets announced I might choke up a little bit and then die because oh my god that would be amazing. The last character is a hard call out, but it would make sense to me if they would put her in, and that is Vice. Her moveset is cool and would be unique to put into BB Tag, and not only that, but it would round out the Arcana Heart roster and BB Tag to two characters. Now I don't have too much to say about Vice other than I would love to run a Vice X Weiss team. Just saying. Nauto Nauto, Vice Weiss. I'm just saying. To summarize everything that I mentioned, I think it would make sense to do the latter list because at the end of the day, if you went with the second list, the final roster count would be 18 BB characters, 12 Persona 4 Arena characters, 12 Undernight characters, 2 Arcana Heart characters, 6 Ruby characters, and 1 Senran Kagura character. This would definitely make my boy Thanos proud. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Now I must address the elephant in the room, the reason why there will be only one Senran Kagura character in the roster. To refer back to the diamond, you know, shape, symbol, whatever you want to call it, thing that they showed off in the trailer, the placement that they put Yumi is probably more significant than you think. Yumi is dead smack in the middle, which probably means that she's going to be the only unique character that reigns from Senran Kagura, aka Asuka won't be coming in this pack. If you take a look at it, everything is going to be symmetrical to each other. So there's going to be two Akatsuki Blitzkamp characters, two Ruby characters from each other then of course you have the remaining franchises to kind of even out their roster blaze blue undernight persona and arcana heart and then you have senran kagura dead smack in the middle that just makes more sense to me i don't know that maybe that's just me however like i said there might be more packs in the future so that means more senran kagura characters and man oh man 
I'd love to see more Sandrin Cogger characters in the future for sure. And with that being said, I am signing off. Thank you everybody for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think of the five remaining characters in BB Tag. Let me know if what you guys think of these two lists, if you guys would have one or the other, or if you don't like either of these lists, let me know what your lists are in the comment section down below. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching this. It's because of you guys I'm able to do videos like this. And of course, big shout outs to Gravity Gaming, which is my sponsor, and it's also a big help for us to why I'm doing this content. And shout outs to my other affiliates like OP Seats. So if you guys want to get yourself a chair, link is in the description down below. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.